Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I just got home from work and I was gonna touch up my makeup so I thought what better time to film a video and show you guys how I like to touch up my makeup kind of after a day of getting oily, losing a bit of product. I did do my usual uh, cream them powder so you can still see it's there but it's just looking a little bit lived in and I just want to kind of mat it down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Fenty uh, Pro Filter Powder and I'm going to be using the shade Lavender. And I really like this shade to just use kind of in my T-zone area because I find that given that it's purple, when I use it all over my face, it can kind of change the color and make it just look, I don't know, just a little bit weird. So when I'm doing touch-ups, I, well in general, I just don't like to layer on a lot of powder. So I literally just put a little bit uh, in the cap. Don't know if you can actually see that in the light. And then I love taking my Pro Featherweight brush and just getting a little bit of product on here, tapping off the excess. And then I just like to kind of gently put it on the areas where I'm really getting noticeably oily and make sure that if there's any excess that it's not just sitting there. So again, take powder, wipe it on. And then once I don't really have much left, I kind of just go over some of the other areas of my face just in case I had fallout and I want to kind of freshen up the rest of it. So, T-zone. And I love doing this with a nice light hand and just kind of whisking it on to the other side, the nose. I'm not one who likes to kind of highlight my nose, so usually you'll see me covering it up if it's getting oily. And if I'm still like shining through my chin, I'll take this again, but I'll do tapping motions to try and push the product in. So you can see now that it's quite a bit more matte. It looks a little bit refreshed. I mean, it's still not perfect, but I'm not going out or anything. I just want my makeup to look good for the rest of the day. So this is kind of how I like to accomplish that when it comes to the face products. Now, when it comes to the eyes, you can kind of see that I'm starting to crease there. Um, my pigmentation's still pretty good. Again, like I used a primer, I did cream, I did a little bit of powder, so you get that longevity out of it. But again, creasing is happening. So I'm gonna take, this is the same brush I used earlier. It just doesn't have any excess product on it. I'll just have from what was there before. And I'm just going to kind of work the creases out a little bit. So you can still kind of see a line from where that crease was, but the product's not like built up there. So you can see a difference between the two eyes. So that's why I like to just do this. It kind of takes away some of that build up and it's not applying more product because I don't need to have more sitting on my face. I just want what's there to look a bit refreshed Now, if I feel like my mascara is getting kind of clumpy, what I will do is take a spoolie and then just kind of brush it through, get off any of the excess mascara that might kind of just fall off or rub off. Just trying to separate them again. Not doing too, too much else to them. And if you get fallout, just take your feather brush again and just wipe it away. Now what I would do if I want to add a bit more color back into my cheeks I would take uh, more than likely a powder product just to kind of touch on top. I wouldn't do another layer of cream just because I feel like it's a little bit heavier. Take a super light hand just apply it on. My blush is holding up pretty good but just for fun I will apply uh, a little bit just so you can see how I do it. So I have this uh, blush here I caught a long time ago from MAC. Um, it's kind of like a shimmery coral-ish color. It's called Modern Mandarin. I don't know if they make this in like a normal sort of packaging, but anyways, I'm gonna put a little bit on my brush and just kind of sweep a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. 
and just kind of add some color back in. And I would follow the same process if I wanted more uh, bronzer back on my skin. Would just kind of lightly apply some to my face and go from there. Last but not least, I would retouch uh, whatever I have put on my lips. So I used NARS Dance Fever and Bite Honeycomb. So I put Bite Honeycomb all over the lips, Dance Fever kind of the outside to deepen it. And that's what I went for today at work. What I'm going to do instead of applying more of those, I want to go for a little bit more of a kind of a glossy look. So I'm just going to apply a gloss on top of this instead of reapplying all of those lip products. So I'm just going to take this Essence gloss. It's called Plumping Nudes. It's nothing uh, too crazy. It's in the shade O2 Big Softy. And I just want something to kind of bring a little bit more moisture back in my lips and a little bit more color. And there you have it. There is my uh, techniques and kind of tips that I have for retouching your makeup at the end of the day when you don't want to apply a whole new face of makeup. This is kind of like my common thing. Maybe I'm going out grocery shopping, maybe I'm going to have dinner, coffee or something, and I just don't want to go to the effort of redoing my entire face. This is what I like to do. If you have any fun tips and techniques that you like to do for touching up your makeup, definitely leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and definitely subscribe if you wanna see more videos that I come out with. Thanks so much. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.